what a momentous occasion for young people. Tessa and Scott are only 18 and 20 years old, respectively. Third after the original dance, but very close to second. And the Russians, they would need a huge score, Tracy, to surpass the French. Skating to Umbrellas of Cherbourg. And you talk about the score they need. The best score done this year in competition is almost 105. They would need 110 to catch the French. Most importantly, they just have to do their program, skate clean, give the judges no reason for deductions. Tracy, hard to paint a more vivid picture, hard to offer accompaniment when they do so much themselves. Well, all I can say is that is the performance they were looking for. They took what they did in the original dance and learned from it.
They had exactly the right amount of attack, but also softness and just effortless speed. You could see they were totally in the zone. They weren't questioning, doubting, one with the music and with each other. And what they do so well is they weave all of the technical requirements, the lifts, the spins, and footwork sequences like this right into the dance. Choreography by Marina Zueva and Igor Spielban, brilliant. Brilliant use of the music. The lifts, every gesture hits every note in the music. So their highest score in competition this season, 104. Della Bell and Sean Feld scored 104.96, and look at these scores. Well, it's beyond their season's best, Tracy. They need a 99.75 to get to second, and they'll the get there. Best score this year, the highest score so far with a one team still to skate. Highest score this year in the free dance. Casa Virtue and Scott Moyer in second position. That means they'll win a medal here at the World Championships. Coming up, Canada.